Welcome on into Barstool Breakfast. We're up and running. It's the last one. Thank you all for having been calling, jumping on the Twitter, online, Instagram. Man, it's been a hell of a ride. It is Gentleman's Friday. Uh, all hands on deck for this one. What's going on, Large? How you feeling, my brother? I love the scarf. I love the chain. I love everything you got going. The sneakers are always on point. Shout out to Puma. Uh, forward and forward. I'm a little up. melancholy. Why? Were you upstairs just giving it up? I, I, don't, I don't know. It's like they, they, they asked us to come in here yeah. and put on a show that people like. Yes. And you know what we wound up doing? What happened? Coming in here and putting on a show that people like. For the people. And then the residual from it was... That we wound up having a very good time doing it. Yes. Some would argue we've had too good of a time at times. Those who said that need to mind your business. I know. You didn't, yeah. I didn't ask their fucking opinion. Right. And I don't give a shit what they think. And now to have it ripped away from us. Right. You know, I, I, I don't know. What, I just I just feel like... Uh, Hell no, we won't go. Attica type? I don't know. I'm I tell you what, it's a, I think we have no choice. We got to leave, Willie. <laughs> we have to fucking leave. They're not going to let us in here. But I think we have to make a uh, vow. They're not getting their security deposit. They're not. They're, they're, <laughs> no, they're we're going to fuck this place up. Did you ever see this video? No. What do you want to listen to on the radio? Willie and Large. Willie and Large? Yeah. All right. Sounds good. Thank you for the radio. Gonna miss you guys on Sirius. I miss you guys on Sirius. That's weird. Say, have a good day. That's weird. That, this is what Sirius is doing to kids. Can this you is what that? they're doing. Jonas Friday is always busy for me. You know that, Jesse. I do. Couple of bowls of loudmouth soup. All right, what do you think? Uh, so yeah, we should do some martinis. We're gonna do some red. We're gonna do some Turkish beers. Do the whole deal. Might as well go out on a little bit of a bang. And it's not the end. It's just the beginning. So uh, so yeah, that's it. Let's have some fun. I got the big beluga caviar in here too. Man, somebody just tweeted, and I think it kind of sums up the uh, the day. Don't cry that it's gone. Cry that uh, smile that it happened. Uh, and that's true. It's been a hell of a ride. A lot has happened. I've grown, Lars has grown. Uh, I've had I'm, I've had a child, another one on the way, and I've gained 50 pounds. So it's been a, I've, I've been great. So I have nothing to complain about. I got one of my best friends. I got a new family, man, and uh, I'm excited for the future. So thanks for the support. 30 seconds. Ditto. Uh, when we were talking about how we wanted today go, we was like, man, we gotta we we gotta bring back Francis. Right. Great Francini. And Lars called him, was like, hey man, do you mind jumping on for the last show? And he said, Yes. Mm -hmm. We have Francis on the line. Francis, what's up, baby? Hey, happy gentlemen's Friday, guys. How are you? <laughs> Francis, I do know this used to be one of your favorite days of the week. <laughs> you know, you guys through sheer force of will brought me around to it at first i was resistant to the idea of drinking wine at seven in the morning but then i became an alcoholic and i embraced it and i miss you guys I, I really do man it, it was just uh it was just such a great way to wake up and and, and just dive right in and, and you felt so loose after uh creatively it was like doing the most crazy dynamic warm-up for a day of comedy was coming into our show that shit's <laughs> look at the look at the phone lines. Oh, oh don't look at the phone lines. Okay, well the phone lines are, uh, the phone lines are lit up right now. The people are very upset that we're going off the air. They don't want us off the air. It's the last day. Uh, sad end of an era. Uh, thank you to everybody that's called in, listened, watched all the Twitter clips. You know, been on and followed our Twitter everything to do with us thank you to everybody from the bottom of my heart i go from having to be in the office at 6 15 every morning to having to being being in the office at 12 midday for pick cent type of deal so it's it's a, it's a major adjustment major life adjustment we all know what zaz is going to be doing in the morning watch out snake is skinny zaz is going to come out show us <laughs> Billy's fat right now. We'll check in. I don't know. Can we do? Can we do a surprise vlog check in in about three months? Yeah. Three See, this is what I'm gonna miss. Three years. I spent more time with Zan Jetski probably than anyone else in my entire life, <laughs> and Willie and Large. Literally. At the worst times of the this day. show has become a lifestyle. It's crazy. Like Zan said, end of an era. Uh -huh. This is the whole reason I was able to get a full time job at Barstool. Barstool Breakfast was the first real show I ever worked on, or any type of content that I ever really helped out on. So I just want to thank Willie Large, thank Pat for initially giving me the go ahead to let me get on the show. Once again, 
this is not the end, it's just a new beginning. So stay Ready tuned. Roll. YouTube page will be active. Ready to roll. All right, big fella, go ahead before we get the hell out of here. All right, so these are the headlines for uh, Friday, January 29th. <laughs> right, right, uh, right, today's right. birthday is uh, Tom Selleck turned 76. I love over Tom Selleck. I'll tell you what, there's a, there's a word that's been thrown around very uh, – very often nowadays, and it's called privilege. Mm -hmm. And it's like white privilege, all this kind of stuff. But I have to tell you guys, it's been a privilege to do this. Yes, sir. It's not something that gets thrown to a lot of people. There's a lot of ham and eggers out there in Iowa who have been sitting in some FM band for 15 years who would love a national platform like we have. Mm -hmm. So we treat it like that every day. That's a privilege. Yep. So it was a privilege doing this with you for the past two years. Yeah, man. It, it's been a blessing. I only landed here, uh, you know, we was kind of busting JSB's chops, but she was the one that gave me the nod. Uh, gave me the call. I was like, hey, man, you should try this out. This is what's going down. And I didn't know shit about Barstool. Right. Uh, and then once I landed the job with her and Francis um, to walk into a new school, if you will, uh, I remember a week on the job, I was ready to fight Smitty uh, uh, and, and all that stuff. Now me and Smitty, I, I love him to death. So I've definitely grown. Um, I'm privileged. And, you know, I love you to death large. I love Ski. I love Pat. I love everybody, man. Uh, but it is a privilege. I think that's the right word. And I also understand from what I've learned, excuse me, what I've learned as far as, like, you know, a key to happiness is always making uh, great memories. Right. And we've done that, seriously. And yeah. another key to happiness is gratitude. And I, I'm gracious. I have a lot of gratitude. Um, I've grown up. I've exposed myself. I've been extremely vulnerable. I've been extremely emotional. I've been everything uh, underneath the sun, and, and I'm still here. So um, I'm fortunate. Thank you to Erica. Thank you to Dave. Thank you to the power to be. Um, and I go on, and I, we, not to be repetitive, is to continue to do what the of course, fuck we do. Yeah, yeah. You know, There's no so, reason to stop. I mean, we're not stopping. Uh, if anything, we get the production things going. Uh, we're gonna figure out what we look like and what we want to look like for the future. And we want to continue to make everybody happy and, and laugh. Uh, everybody that's dealing with corona everybody's dealing with life in general it's a lot and uh so for everybody that's been calling and there's still the, there's a list of callers but yeah. uh, i'm sorry we couldn't get, get to them. all you guys but the fact that uh you guys called in invested in me in large and some days we had it some days we didn't uh, but you stayed with us and we say thank you from the bottom of our hearts uh and onward and forward most days we had it most days you we said that yeah. yeah so we thank you guys man I feel good. I feel positive. I mean, so much has happened in these three years. Shit, I, I have a kid. Uh, I have another one on the way. I uh, love my wife. Love God. Love large. What else can you ask for? I'm the opposite. <laughs> I, uh, I don't feel good about this at all. I, uh, I still have a wife. I still have kids. They're very expensive. Um, I'm, up, I'm up 50 pounds since it's fucking Yes, that's started. true. The weight's definitely yeah. going up. So there's the, the plus side of this is that bars for breakfast was slowly killing me, <laughs> but I'm going to miss it a lot. So it's not done. So look out yeah. for the YouTube channel. We're going to do some live video stuff because I think Willie's very photogenic and I'll come along for the ride. <laughs> and so it's not, as one door closes, a couple more are going to open. Yes, sir. You guys are going to be thrilled with what we do next. As one door closes, we'll open a couple of others. There's nobody I'd rather do it with than my Barstool Breakfast Brothers. Oh, on site! Yep. Yeah. Yeah,